Hey guys, in this video we are taking a look at the interior detail of a biannual maintenance client as well as checking out a new steamer. So without building the anticipation, let's go ahead and check out this new steamer. Let me show you guys what it is. All right, guys, first thing is first, as you are looking at the steamer for the first time here, I want to read the specs so you understand exactly what this steamer is, comes with and all about it. Number one, it has a retractable handle up at the top that's extremely easy to carry it around, pull up, put back down. It's got a simple water input area right at the top, screws on, screws off with barely any effort whatsoever with a protective covering over it as well once you have screwed it on and the steamer is heating up and working. Now, you've probably also notice that it is absolutely tiny. In fact, it only weighs eight pounds, extremely easy to carry around and move around. There's an on and off switch that is also water protected, kind of with a little plastic barrier that's like on most steamers, so you're not going to get any water in those electrical components. That's the only button other than the water adjustment option on the top as well, which is something that I'll talk more about later because I really like it. This steamer sits at $350. It comes with a ton of of attachments, a water dispenser, different attachments to clean different floors, different fabrics, all of that sort of stuff. The water tank is 50 ounces in total. It can shoot out up to 58 PSI, which for those of you who don't have any reference or understand what that means with a steamer, that is plenty of pressure, I promise you. It's a 1400 watt machine, weighs only eight pounds, like I said. And if I were to just shoot a constant stream of steam out of that nozzle, I would get about 30 minutes of constant steam. So this is going to be plenty to do a car like this. It's got a six and a half foot hose, meaning the hose from the handle that I'm using to the front of the machine. It's got a 15 and a half foot power cord that attaches again to the outlet. Great wheels, caster wheels, as well as these really well built wheels in the back. Very large, makes it very easy to roll around. And on top of all of that, a one year limited manufacturer's warranty. Now, just so you guys know, no, this video is not sponsored. I do not get paid, you know, a thousand dollars to make a video like this and talk well well about this machine. So I'm actually reviewing it because yes, just like the Aqua Provac, it's from the same company. I am an affiliate of this company, meaning I make a small percentage of every machine that sells. It's an extremely small percentage, by the way. So that is my full disclosure note to you guys as I review this machine. So let's jump into the details of what I think about this steamer. So number one, why am I reviewing this steamer? Well, because I I professionally use the VX5000. That is a thousand dollar steamer. So for years I've been racking my brain about where to send people who are not looking to spend a thousand dollars on a steamer because hey, I totally get it. I used to be on a shoestring budget when I was starting my detailing business. I had no thousand dollars laying around to sink into a steamer. So my number one pick for a steamer is continue, you know, today it continues to be and probably will always be the VX5000. But the point is 90% of auto detailers do not buy the VX5000. They buy other steamers that I send them to, and the only steamer that I have been sending other detailers to for like the past two and a half years are the McCulloch steamers. Well, full disclosure, once again, I have never used all three or four of the McCulloch steamers. I have used their most expensive one, their nicest one, which I believe is $200, and I liked it okay. It was very cumbersome to use in my opinion. I don't think it was made out of great material as far as like the plastics are concerned. It seemed to me something that would probably last around a year or two years and I'd have to buy another one, and it wasn't the most powerful thing. It had some drippage too that was a little annoying to me. So it wasn't my favorite machine, but the point is the McCulloch steamers are extremely popular in the detailing world because of the price point. Well, guess what? Because of my awesome job, which extends into YouTube, I get to build these awesome relationships with certain companies, and one of these awesome relationships I've gotten to build over the years is with the guy who actually owns the Aqua Provac company. And he came out with a mobile auto detailer or auto detailer in general steamer to basically give people another option, just like he did with the Aqua Provac, a less expensive option for an extractor so that detailers who especially are starting out or who are intermediate and 
advanced in the business, but just don't have a machine like this that's easy to carry around, they can get extraction power or they can get steaming power without having to spend their entire life savings. So this is absolutely, without a doubt, the steamer I suggest for anyone looking not to spend the $1,000 on the VX5000, but looking to get a steamer. Now, if you already have the McCulloch and it's working fantastically for you, then no reason to go buy more steamers. But let me break down each area, area by area, that I love about this steamer, and we will start with the steam itself. The pressure coming out of this steamer was plenty for this particular Prius that I was cleaning. It was more than enough. There was absolutely no need to have any more powerful steam coming out. It was absolutely sufficient. In fact, I would say it's more power than you need. So much like my electric pressure washer that has 2000 PSI, it's really in 99% of the time more than what I need. I would say the same exact thing about this steamer. Absolutely fantastic pressure. In addition to that, there is a knob on the top of the steamer where I can adjust the amount of steam that comes out of the machine. So I can basically get more water or less water and in some ways more pressure or less pressure by adjusting this. Funny enough, this is actually not something that is adjustable at the, the level of specificity that it is with this machine. On the VX5000, the only option I have is to click a button in to get more uh, kind of liquid water out. But this machine allows you to really dial it in, uh, kind of just at a very specific level, exactly how much steam you want, exactly how much air you want, exactly how much water you want with that simple turn of that knob. Another huge, huge plus in my opinion. I kept the knob a little past 12 o'clock, so meaning more steam, a little bit more pressure. Some of you guys will want to adjust that depending on the jobs that you are doing. Now, the nozzle that I'm using here is what most mobile detailers or auto detailers are going to be using 99% of the time, not necessarily the other attachments that come with the machine. This simple kind of trigger nozzle, right? This is what comes with most steamers. It's what we always use. The only thing to note about this as far as something that's a little different from the steamers that I'm used to is that basically next to the trigger, or you might even say on top of the trigger, it's, it's basically right underneath the trigger, but it's kind of hard to describe in words. There is a safety mechanism on this little handheld that I'm using here. So in order for the trigger to be pulled down to release the steam out of the tip of the nozzle, that safety trigger also has to be pulled down. This is not something I think is cumbersome at all. It's what I would call a hair trigger, so it's extremely easy to push down. It doesn't take like you really using your finger. You could lay your finger on it and it would push it down automatically. So those two things have to be pushed down together actually in order for the steam to be released. So this is just a safety protocol, a safety mechanism. It's also something that I think would be very useful so that you're not going to accidentally burn yourself. I have many times laid my steamer down, put it here, stepped on it here, accidentally touched it here, turned it on, and burned my ankle, burned my wrist, done all of that stuff. That'd be virtually impossible to do with this particular nozzle because of that safety trigger. The other thing to note about this that ends up being really important is... And I would say this steamer actually in this area performs better than my VX5000 thousand dollar steamer. Now I've been using that steamer for the past like five years, so we'll give it a break a little bit, but when I pull down the trigger on this steamer, the steam immediately comes out. When I let it go, the steam immediately stops. There is no lag time between pulling down the trigger and actually getting the steam out of the machine or to uh, inhibiting the steam from coming out of the machine. It's an instantaneous thing based on that trigger. That is something that is actually very, very helpful when you are using a steamer all the time. It seems nuanced, but it's something you will notice deeply if there is some lag. So that's huge brownie points to this steamer because there's absolutely no lag whatsoever. Now, the next most obvious thing to talk about here is the portability of this machine. One of the things I always talk about with the VX5000 is one of the reasons I love it is because it's so, so tiny. I like small equipment that is powerful. The VX5000 steamer fits that perfectly. Well, you could probably deduce this already, but being an eight pound steamer that I'm using here, this thing, if, as far as prob portability goes, 
it absolutely beats out the McCulloch steamers. There's just no question. It's lighter. It's easier to fit into small surfaces. You could stick it inside the car if you wanted to, making it extremely easy to maneuver around. I can pull it from the hose, let the wheels pull it to me. I can grab it easily on that handle that retracts down, move it next to me, move it away. The portability of this machine is probably unmatched, and that's just logic, right? It's absolutely tiny. But even with it being tiny, that 50 ounce reservoir of water ended up being perfect for what I needed with this Prius. Now I'm using a ton of steam with this particular interior detail because I detail this vehicle every, uh, basically every winter and every summer. So it gets really dirty during the year, and then I take care of those things, so the steam ends up being kind of my right-hand man in this particular detail every single time. But if this car was a little bit less dirty, I would have had absolutely no problem getting through the entire thing with just one fill-up of the AquaPro steamer in the very beginning. I did fill it up again, as you're going to see in the video. It holds basically a half a gallon of water. That's me kind of eyeballing it, and that's what I like to do with a steamer. I don't really like pouring the water into that tank that ends up then pouring it into the steamer a little bit more accurately. I'd rather just take the gallon, pour it right into the steamer and eyeball it. But anywhere between like, you know, three quarters of half a gallon to the entire half a gallon is basically what this steamer holds. In addition to that, the hose, of course. The hose is a great length. In fact, I would say it fits that six and a half foot length ends up being kind of the length you actually want because longer than that and it's actually easy to drag across the car and scrape up the outside. It's also easy to get kind of tangled up with your other extension cords and things like that. But any shorter than that, it ends up becoming kind of difficult to maneuver at all, right? But even with a six and a half foot hose, if it's a little bit short for your taste, because the steamer is so light and easy to move around, it's really just a non-issue, to be honest with you. It's kind of a moot point. I wouldn't even worry. That's not something I would worry about whatsoever. Now, in addition to all of that, the $350 price point, I think, is going to be very attractive for you guys. Now, let me repeat this once again because people tend to be hyper-skeptical. I am not being paid to make this video. I am not sponsored by this company. I am an affiliate of this company just like I am with the Aqua Provac. Every reason that I would give for someone to buy the Aqua Provac on the budget that they are on if they want extraction power are all of the exact same same reasons that I would say to buy this steamer if you are looking for steamer power without spending a thousand dollars. In fact, I would absolutely recommend this steamer over the McCulloch steamers because of the portability. I do not understand why somebody would buy a steamer that is much larger, even if it's $150 less expensive. I would eat the $150 personally, doesn't have to be what you do, but I would spend that extra money in order to get the incredible portability of this. That is something that I value very highly in my world. Now, I've gone on and on and on about this steamer. The last thing really to point out here is how quickly it heats up. Whereas my VX5000 takes probably around half an hour to heat up, especially in the winter time, the Aqua Provac heats up, I think I nailed it at 11 minutes. 11 minutes to 13 minutes, and both times I filled it up, it was completely ready to go completely hot when it is ready to go from a temperature and pressure standpoint there will be a little uh, green light on the top that you see lights up indicating that it is ready to go now, I'm going to get off my soapbox here. Of course, the link for this particular steamer will be linked up in the YouTube description box below. Having said that, let me, of course, give you guys a brief description of what the products and other tools that I was using in this video, because this is a great example of one of the simplest ways to detail a car because of some just vital tools and products, and the way this type of entry-level car is actually made up. It doesn't require much. The main chemical that I was using, not on the fabrics like you see here, was the LVP cleaner from the Renegade Detailer Series. That is a product that's safe on vinyls, rubbers, plastics, leathers, and it's in essence what I would call just a very effective but very safe cleaner, kind of a conservative cleaner. Tons of suds. Conservative is not really the right word, but you guys kind of understand the point I'm making. Not a ton of suds, but it ends up really reacting with the type of dirt, the type of body oils that get on these areas. 
So generally, I use something like Meguiar's All-Purpose Cleaner 10 to 1, which of course I love that product a ton, but with a maintenance client with a car that I see at least twice a year and that doesn't get crazy dirty on those areas, the LVP cleaner ends up kind of emulsifying those body oils in a way that just work really well and I like to switch off my cleaners sometimes. I dilute it around 5 to 7 to 1 and outside of that cleaner, the only other liquid chemical that I've been using on these fabrics is the Dr. Carpet or the Carpet Spot Cleaner. I can't remember the exact name. Uh, Carpet Plus Stain Cleaner, whatever it is, from the same Renegade Detailer Series. It comes in a green gallon size. All of these come in a gallon size, by the way, because they're designed for professional detailers. And I dilute that around 5 or 8 to 1 as well, somewhere in that range, which really is not necessary for this Prius. The cloth seats and the carpets don't get crazy dirty, and even a fairly heavy dilution of that product still remains really, really effective. And it's the same product that I'm using on this removable floor mat in the trunk there. I went ahead and pre-treated it before I took the steamer to it. Now, in addition to that, I am going to be using the AM Details Interior Multipurpose Dressing in order to dress the interior with a 50-50 IPA alcohol wash in order to address the interior windows. I'll clean up the door jams at the end as well, but outside of that, this is an extremely, extremely straightforward detail. Using the Cloudbuster Waffle Weave Glass Towel, which is extremely helpful for interior windows, these windows in particular, very, very dirty. The dog was kind of pushing up against the uh, windows over the year. Lots of fingerprints and lots of body oils. After dressing it, you guys are going to get to see the after results here. And as you are looking at the after results, really the only thing to note, the biggest problem area with this detail is the carpet because it's the impossible carpeting. It's There's absolutely no normal carpet fibers there. So any stains that were on the carpet at a significant level, like where the left foot of the driver sits, are still going to be there at some level, but they've been there for years. It's not actually anything new. The seats came out really, really well. The only removable weather mats are in the front. There are none in the back. And the trunk mat looks very, very good as well. Like I said, some specific staining on that impossible carpeting. Door jams came out looking fantastic. And that steamer did basically all of the work for this detail. Go to check out the YouTube description box for any of these products. And I will see you guys in the next video. Big, big, big.